Black History Month reminds us about the fight for justice in all spheres of life. Black History Month recalls us and reminds us of some of the perennial figures that have shaped the life and freedom for African Americans. Individuals such as Martin Luther King, who wanted to move America beyond the parchment of the Declaration of Independence to the pavement of social practice. From lesser known figures such as Diane Nash, who encouraged courage. Fannie Lou Hamer, who led voters in voting for change. John Lewis, who encouraged courage by being a conscientious for justice and reminding us that justice sometimes requires good trouble. And what we have learned from these perennial figures is that justice encourage courage. And what I want us to remind us during this Black History Month, there's different ways that we can step out in courage to fight against injustice. One of those ways is actually going to the website 8canwait.org. When you go to 8canwait.org, it will let you know of the various laws and policies that are bringing injustice to your immediate community and how you can alleviate those policies and laws. We also have institutions that you also can be a part of to bring about these changes or even in your sphere of influence or at your job or at your career you can join diversity committees you can join committees that will institute changes in order to make sure that justice is served apart from that we also need to look in restoring our community being a part of groups where we can mentor some of our young adults and some of our people in our community where we can be a part of prison ministries in order for us to give a life to those that are in the prison system and various institutions that we can be aligned with in order for us to preach justice. What I want to remind us during this season of Black History Month, though it is a season to celebrate black excellence, it is a season for us to be enticed in the march in fighting against injustice. Because being a part of justice requires courage. We must cancel complicity and we must practice courage because being anti-justice is anti-Jesus. What we ought to do is turn this moment into a movement and this breakdown into a breakthrough.